watching you live from over there. I'll put you on the phone and I'll Com do my comments. 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 Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Bye. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna pin that number right there. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, different day, same story uh, for the stock market. It got crushed again today. Um, but you know what we say to that? We're gonna talk to my man, Gary Vee. What are we doing? What's up, Rock? What are we doing with the stock market? And when you hear a lot of the smart people out there, uh, we are still a long ways from the bottom. Uh, what's up, Reigns? How are you, my friend? Gary V's in the house. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Gary V in about a, a minute and a half. Uh, my man, Gary V, who has talked about owning the Jets for such a long time. I cannot wait. Terrific owner. I'm interested to see what he's thinking about uh, investing. Uh, what he's thinking about managing his team and how does he see the world and what opportunities is Gary V looking at? Let's bring in uh, Mr. Gary. There he is. Gary, my brother. How are you, my bud? I am super well, bro. How are you? I like it. Where are you? Where in, are you in the Hamptons? I'm in, uh, I'm in Jersey at my parents. Awesome. How's it? First of all, how, how are you doing? Everyone Everyone's healthy? Everyone's good. Kids good. Everybody's good. good. How are you? You look great. You look great. Thank you. you know, we're hanging in here, man. We're hanging in here. Uh, you know, trying to make lemonades out of lemon. And, I know the story. Uh, you know, I always say that uh, you never let a crisis situation uh, kind of go by. It's always an opportunity. You just have to find it. Get smarter. Read more. Uh, I'm a 100%. Netflix expert. I'm listening to podcasts. <laughs> I'm reading uh, tell me, how are you spending some of your time? I know you're always planning and you're always making uh, uh, the best out of every situation. So I've been in heavy operations. Obviously, VaynerX, which is the holding company that holds all our companies, VaynerMedia that I'm the CEO of and I'm the chairman of VaynerX. So there's the Sasha Group, there's Tracer, there's you know, uh, VPro, uh, 137PM and PureWow.com. So I've literally spent the last eight days in 12-hour Zoom all day. I literally, I just got on. I was literally on a finance, HR, you know, how are we going to manage cash flow? Clients are going out of business. Clients are, you know, we're on this call right now with HR and the CFO and the client emails us and says, we're not paying you, you know. So we're, we're in it. So I'm in 12, roughly 12 hours straight. I'm doing 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. tea with Gary V you know, doing this whole thing where I'm just answering people's questions on Zoom and Facebook Live and Instagram Live. And then from 11 to about 7 or 8 p.m., I'm going in literally minute by minute operational head of strategy, head of creative, the CEO of Vayner Speakers. I mean, Vayner Speakers, you want to talk about a company. I've lost hefty seven figures in speaking and they've lost all their revenue. Nobody's doing conferences. So, yeah. you know, the, the reality is, is I'm in firefighting mode right now, which is great. Honestly, this is what I signed up for. You know, entrepreneurship is fucking, you know, dope and lit as shit the last seven years because it was easy. But now all of a sudden, everyone's kind of scared and feeling sad, you know, that they're an entrepreneur because mm -hmm. it's on their shoulders. For me, I want this pressure. I'm, I'm in it. Like, I, I get it. Like, this is what I signed up for. And so I'm in complete operation you know, you, first you go to the snacks and like the dumb shit that your company spends on, right? We did that last week. Like, you know, you can cut some of the cost of travel because no one's traveling. You can cut, cut some costs here and there. You know, uh, I mean, you know, here's a devastating one. Literally the last thing I heard, I was like, I gotta go talk to A-Rod, I can't be late for him. But I was literally, they're like, do we kill the intern program this summer? We'll just be getting back. It's a cost. It saves people's jobs. So like people are in it now, you know, like even you can still, you know, you know, just because you do $200 million in revenue, if you've got 201 million in expenses or more importantly, real talk, you do 200 million in revenue and you have 190 million in expenses and 200 becomes 170 overnight because clients are going out of business. You know, you got to do something and you got people's lives, like letting go people during this, it hurts, but like, I'm in fucking firefighting mood, but I do see that as opportunity. I've never been this deep in the books. I see opportunity. What is the opportunity, Gary? What is it? 
Well, first of all, uniquely for my business, and, and hopefully this story just helps other people see it. Uniquely for us, while all this is happening, we're also getting bombarded with people that want to fire their more expensive agencies. And you know, we've been telling people, you're overpaying for shit, you're overpaying for shit. So we're really focused on, you know, the opportunity is, was your business ready for this? So let me go more macro and not make it about me. Here are the opportunities. One, a ton of people should have been selling their shit on the internet. There was a barber friend I was talking to the other day. I've been telling him forever, it's cool that you cut hair and he's obviously getting dismantled. I'm like, but what about the 55 items that you sell in the store? The fucking creams, the fucking razors. I'm like, go in, grab that shit. He did, he literally did what I said. He said, go in, grab all your shit, take it home, take photos. Google how to build a Shopify store. He's like, I don't know. I'm like, you fucking have to know now. This is yeah. more. You know, like Google how to build a Shopify store, take the photos, put it on. And literally now this week, uh, next week, he's going to have a full Shopify store. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, luckily he's saved because he's an immigrant style. So he's going to be okay. Now he's actually going to do an extra thousand dollars a month, 2000 a month on selling some of his shit, some of the creams, some of the stuff on Shopify. So A, anybody who wasn't doing delivery in restaurant land is now learning how anybody who wasn't selling the tchotchkes in their store, like a barber who's got a hundred things or a nail salon or mm -hmm. things that like, they're learning. Um, for a lot of entrepreneurs, it's time to learn how to market on the internet. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm so happy that people are actually learning how to do TikTok or Instagram live yeah. or content, you know, so people are starting to learn. It's uh, for all 5,000 of you right now, it's story time. Make content, make videos about how you started your business and why. You know, like, like just tell the world your origin story. We know A-Rod's mm -hmm. stories. A lot of you know my stories. This is a huge play. Tell the world your stories. This is literally, you're like, what do I post? Well, if you're sitting at home and your real estate business is fucking locked down right now, make a video, make a video of like why you decided to become a real estate agent. Like why, like why? People buy from people. And right now, everybody needs to go into first album, first comic book, comic book number one. Tell the world about you. Sitting in story time with a bottle of bourbon or a glass of wine or a cup of tea and just telling the world who you are, even if the, the president that they have. So, dude, you were, <laughs> such, you were doing such great entrepreneurial shit. I'm so pumped. By the way, big shout I'm, out to Gaio. I'm Gaio's a drunk. Gaio. I'm going to make a lot of money, but I'm going to be a drunk by the time this is over. <laughs> big shout out to Gaio Seri and the guys and gals over at Community. I see you got your text number yeah, pinned. I'm proud of you. guy's the best. The best. So anyway, uh, it is, everyone's like, what do I post? What do I post? Story time. It is time to tell the story. Every one of you is a superhero. Every one of you is a hip hop star. What I mean by that is put out your first album. Tell the world your story. You know, literally you're sitting in your living room and you're sad that your car wash isn't working. So make 15 videos on why you started the car wash. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love if that. You know. six, like you're not doing anything. If six people fall in love with you telling your story and then go to your car wash when this is all over, that's six more fucking customers than you would have had. People are fucking in their, in their cry, like crying and sitting in their pool of fucking tears. Nobody fucking cares. They've got their own fucking problem. Somebody was like, re, like a friend was like really down, like FaceTime and like literally like sad and like, I'm going to lose money and I might have to sell my expensive fucking car. And I'm like, bro, our other, this, I, I had to tell him, I was like, dude, our other friend's uncle just died from Corona. You think he's going to be mad that you have to sell your fucking Benz? You fucking dick. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's interesting. I tell a lot of the young people that I, that I mentor is everyone wants to be a partner. Everyone wants equity. But right now, when your business is upside down, everyone says, well, maybe I can, uh, ownership can wait. <laughs> right? Because they don't want to write the big checks when things don't go well, as you explained. Um, if you're a young guy or young woman and you're 18 to 25, you have to reset all your values, your set of skills. I think this is actually could be a good thing moving forward if you take advantage of your time right now. Everything has been very easy for a long time. Now, the varsity has to step up. 100%. Uh, listen, if you're 18 to 25, I mean, this couldn't have been a better situation. People need a reset. I, you know, you might have caught this out. I've been screaming about saving money for the last six months to a year. Like, please get more practical. Fuck over valuation. Like, build shit. If you're 18 to 25, you're so uncomfortably young that you have so much time. So, A, you're going to lean into gratitude right now. B, I'm glad, you know, everybody under 30 who started a business has never been punched in the face because 2008 now is 12 years ago. And right. those people weren't in the game. They were 18. So, 
it's, I'm excited for a lot of entrepreneurs who got punched in the face because now, post this, they're gonna be much more thoughtful of how they navigate. Uh, also, Alex, you know, and for everybody in here, and I'm reading a bunch of the comments, I'm trying to get the vibes of the community in here, like, it's also an opportunity reset of like, what do you like? A lot of people lost their jobs, you know? And, and reality is, they didn't like that job anyway. Mm. And in the next six months, they're gonna go get back, get another job, because this is a temporary thing. Like, yes, this is not, a this is just not going to be a prolonged thing. Like the reality is, is that the economy will get back to some place for the next six to 12 months. So people are going to be back in a job. The reality is this is your chance to do something else. So Gary, like, you're 24. Let me bring you back to yeah. 24. You're gritty as hell and you're in this situation right now. Are you sitting back feeling sorry for yourself? Or is this a time where you say, you know what? I'm going to proactively send a hundred emails a day. Say, here are my set of skills. Here's my passion. Hire me. I'll come work for free. By the way, I like that. Right? I like that. Let's do two things. I like that, especially if you're asking me, you guy, you know, Madonna, you know, uh, you know, uh, Meg, Meg Whitman. Like, if you're asking, uh, like, I'm a big fan of work for free for a fucking G who then gives you leverage and you get closer to the sun, right? So that's number one. But also, right now, begging, and let, let's call it what it is. Is it's gonna be so loud. I mean, I probably got 5,000 uh, LinkedIn and emails, I'll work yeah. for free, right? So it's supply and demand. Like I feel compassion for and sympathy for all of them. I'm worried about hanging on to every single job that's with me already. So one of my things that I'm really focused on is, yes, you should say, like, I love raw, I love gritty, right? I'll work for free virtually, I'll, te you know, if you're technically sound, DMing people and emailing and LinkedIn people, I'll set up your Zoom, I'll set up your Slack, I'll set up your workplace, so tech mm -hmm. skills. But B, make content. Mm. I, I, what I mean by that is this. It is far more likely that if you go to a company or a, or a entrepreneur or a celebrity or an influencer's page and say to them, hey, do you realize you didn't link your website onto your Instagram or why don't you have a TikTok? If you mm. do a free audit, instead, instead of asking your favorite, you know, Glossier, Glossier, I'd love to work for free. Instead of that, sending a detailed email to Glossier saying, your Pinterest is off. Like now you have to know this, but if you know this, your Pinterest is off. Your, mm -hmm. your, you know, your, your LinkedIn could be stronger. Why are you, you your YouTube pre-roll videos not strong? So sending an email with free value that may guilt or create the mindset for that person to say, oh my God, there's something here. This is a time to put out content direct to Glossier and then take a step back and write a LinkedIn post, right? Or make a YouTube video that's like eight things Glossier can do better on their social media. Boom, maybe they see it or maybe some of Glossier's competitors see it. This is a game of action on the brand side and content side, not necessarily on the like begging slash hope. Everyone, like so many people are on this shit, hoping. Yeah, You know, that's a lottery ticket. Whereas making content against your expertise about shit really, really, really can do a huge, huge, huge leverage shift. Gary B, it, say, say hi to my daughter, Natasha. She's a big hi, fan Natasha. Of Thank nice you. Hi, Natasha. You. Nice to meet you. How are things? Nice you. Good. How are you? Hanging in. Same here. Hey, Gary, who, who's out there that, you know, I have a lot of role models. We know Warren Buffett, he's sitting tight. He's sitting with about a billion of cash and he's gonna make big, big moves and he'll negotiate he things that you and I can't. So that's why that's I'm right. a Berkshire buyer. I think Berkshire is like a bond. I'll take 30, 40% of my money right now and just throw it on Berkshire and take a nap for five years. I Again, I think Warren over time has shown Always. that in times like these, he, he, wins. he wins big. Who are some of the people out there in the entrepreneur world that you really, really admire? You know, this is some real shit. And Natasha, don't laugh at me. So I'm a little bit, I, I, you know, I, I don't do a good job. You know what I admire a lot about you, Alex? And I mean this, when you made that shift mentally, whether it was four or five years ago, that you were really getting serious three years ago about entrepreneurship, I thought you extracted, yeah, I love this about you. I think you extracted, you know, it was amazing because you were such an icon. You had the ability to have, the ability to sit down with a lot of people and you're great at extracting. I think the way you analyze shit is you extract information from others. I've, I've been in a, so many meetings with you. I see what you're doing. 
It's not necessarily my strength. I actually, the answer to your question, I have no fucking idea. I, <laughs> I got you. you. You know, like, because I don't actually know the details of entrepreneur, I, I don't know what's under the hood because mm -hmm. I don't, because I don't analyze others. You analyze others, take the best of it and then go. I'm like, wow. He like, I flat out, the first time we sat down or interacted or at your house that one time, it's like, he's gonna fucking win because mm -hmm. his process is gonna work for him. I'm mm -hmm. a little bit more in the fucking streets. My mm -hmm. shit comes from what I'm best at. And you've seen this for me is I just know the fucking people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like I don't spend my time on the systems that work for others or who's doing it right. I'm just spending all my time on the temperature and the pulse and the vibes and the interest of the end user, the, the customer. So Gary, let's talk about Gary V, your holding company. You have two issues. You have to make sure you keep the empire functioning and moving forward. But then the other part is, I think Gary V is one of the most exciting companies on the planet. And if I had a chance to invest, I would invest big money because I believe in you, but I also believe in the people you're putting around. I've spent so much time with each silo of your leaders from Reed Bergman to others. And you pick world-class people. That's what makes Yankees champions. That's what makes Gary V and your organization champions. Where do you see yourself in three years once this is behind you? Oh, I, I, listen, once, on the humanity side right now, it's so hard for me to even, and this is a public domain, but I'll say it, I'll answer the question. The answer is in a very good place. This is a very good chapter for me professionally. It's so hard to get those words out of your mouth when you know that there's so much pain in the next three or four weeks. So, you know, but, but to go on the offense and to, to, you know, to, you know, listen to a lot of people here, like it's really, by the way, everybody who's mad at me for cursing in front of, uh, I promise you that Natasha in her hallways at school hears more stuff in the first four seconds she walks into fucking school than what came out of my mouth. <laughs> I Very appreciate true. the comment though. Nonetheless, um, look, you know, I'm an immigrant. You know, I came, I came from nothing. You know my story. So I was playing for rainy days. I understand the, the Buffett mindset. Like I've saved dollars. There's a ton of companies that are trying to sell to me right now that I'm like, you know, right now I just have to make sure that we don't get super caught. You know, again, no different than entrepreneurs. You can see big companies folding during this time because you didn't realize how cash poor they really were or how over leveraged and overvalued they were, right? And so, you know, I think that from my perspective, I'm never scared. I'm always willing to go back to Queens and live in a studio apartment and start over and rise like a phoenix, right? So, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of opportunities in front of me. I think what we do in marketing best in class, media and creative is always important. Communication is mm -hmm. always important. And so I, I feel very confident. You know, I know who I am as like a leader. I've got the stomach to get punched in the face. Like, you know, and so I'm, I'm ready for all that. And I, I feel crazy optimistic. You know what, Gary, I think, um, and thank you. We can close in a few minutes. Thank you so much for your time. One of the things I had a conversation with my friend and I've been telling him for years, hey man, you need to eat better. You need to sleep more. You need to train a little bit. You need to break a sweat. Listen to podcasts, read books. So I just checked in with him three days ago and I said, now you, he, he would always say, I don't have any time. No time, mm. no time. So I just checked in with him three days. I said, how's the podcast? How are the books? How's the diet? How's the training? No, no, I can't do it. I'm, I'm too stressed. <laughs> I said, so Excuses. the point is there are things that when something comes down, something else can come up. You can control your sleep your training, what you put in your mouth, not drinking, doing all the right things. And when you come out of this, you may say, you know what? I'm 20% more poor, I'm poorer, but I'm 25% better in shape. And that shape and that attitude and energy is gonna take me to the next level. So listen, for, for, the, for everybody who's watching this and is gonna watch the next 24 hours, be grateful for your health. There's so many people that have it so much worse. Then the next person's lost their job for real. Next person's lost some fancy things. This is a gratitude mindset. There's so much opportunity. You, you know, um, if, if you wanna invest in stocks, things are so obvious, Netflix, Zoom, Slack. There's so much opportunity there. This is an opportunity to learn how to flip. Everyone's stuck in your home. Almost everybody watching this right now has 25 to 50% of the stuff in their home that they don't give a crap about. They haven't worn that clothes. They don't use that clock anymore. That's an old laptop. Learn how to flip that stuff. Listed on Facebook Marketplace, listed on eBay. 
Everybody needs to produce more content on the internet. This is your time to finally start your TikTok account. This is the time to reboot your Twitter account. This is the time to start your podcast. To your point, get your mind right. This is the time to um, consume more information. And by the way, this is the time to love and create more humanity. Here's a little fun fact. Go into your phone right now and start in your address book at A and go to Z and look through every name in there and there are unlimited 50 names for everybody, 20 names for everybody of people that you love, good friends. They just, you know, you know how life goes. You can go two yeah. and a half years without talking to somebody. Just text them and say, thinking about you, miss you. Like it's gonna lead to serendipity. You're gonna get on a Zoom. Everybody here should get their high school friends on a happy hour on Zoom or Google Hangouts. Like That's reconnect. Nice. This is a time to feed your soul and feed your mindset entrepreneurially. There's so much opportunity. It's, there's just so much opportunity. Well, Gary, I wish you the best. I wish your family a lot of health and Thank stay you, my safe, friend. my brother. And, and when I'll we get out soon. of here, we'll break bread and, uh, and have a little fun. Stay Can't strong. wait, bro. Talk to you soon. All right, my man. Stay well. Stay Thank bye. you, Gary. Bye, everyone. I mean, there you have it uh, from the great Gary V. Uh, great words of wisdom. Uh, it's really interesting to see the perspective of how, uh, you know, my friends are doing things. And I, I think we can all learn from each other. And I think the one thing that we can all think about is in these tough times is that what can we do to do better? I mean, we have uh, a forced timeout um, through a crisis. But again, if there's three or four things once this crisis ends that you can do better and you can choose, you can sleep better, you can eat better, you can work out every day, you can have a good attitude, podcast, books, get your mind right. And uh, I have a lot of faith that, uh, you know, this too shall pass and all of you uh, will be stronger than ever if you keep that right mindset. Um, I encourage everyone to stay safe out there. And uh, we will see you tomorrow night at 6 p.m. with the great Dwight Gooden, Doc. And on Friday, we will have uh, Sebastian the greatest comedian alive on the planet. Uh, so for now, as Michael K says, um, Billy Joe says uh, life's about hellos and goodbyes, and we're saying goodbye right now. So see ya. <laughs>